Welcome back. Most, if not all of us, want to be sure that we get a fair shake when it comes to taxes. And today in Braxton County, the WVU Extension Services showing landowners how to make the most from timber on their land. Alex Hines explains. Landowners, natural resources officials, and others gathered in Flatwoods Tuesday afternoon for a timber tax workshop hosted by the WVU Extension Service. Organizers say that while many people are familiar with doing taxes for their land, those with large amounts of forested land may not be getting the best value out of it. So this event today is about forest taxation, and there's a number of different issues we're hitting, mostly timber taxation and, and timber is treated a little differently than other taxes and a lot of landowners don't have any idea really of how to deal with that. It's also a way for people who already work with the state and federal governments to learn more about changing laws including the ways the value of their lands and timber may be affected. And this is a great opportunity for landowners and loggers and foresters and um, Department of agriculture, natural resources conservation service people to get together. McGill says that whether they have 30 acres of wooded land or 300, landowners around the state of West Virginia have something to gain from having their land valued properly. Um, there are all sorts of different ways timber can be sold. And so the first step really is to, just to figure out how that's going to be sold. And, and the main thing, again, we recommend talking to a, a professional forester. Reporting in Flatwoods, I'm Alex Hines for 12 News.